CSCS Book Notes CH894 Questions Question 1, characterized by effortful and conscious regulation of the movement. A. Cognitive anxiety. B. Cognitive state. C. Axious state. D. Non-axious state. Question 1 Answer, B. Cognitive state. Question 2, Tendency to reduce attention so that task relevant in form A in is lost. A. Selective attention. B. Reduced attentional focus. C. Broad external attentional focus. D. Narrow attentional focus. Question 2 Answer, B. Reduced attentional focus. Question 3. Monitoring your activity during exercise or your exercise variables. A. Dissociation. B. Athlete. C. Association. D. Attention. Question 3. Answer. C. Association. Question 4. Is the presentation of an act object or event following a behavior that could decrease a behavior's occurrence? A. Cognitive anxiety. B. Negative punishment. C. State anxiety. D. Positive punishment. Question 4 Answer. D. Positive punishment. Question 5. Is the act of increasing the probability of occurrence of a given behavior with praise decals on a helmet or prizes and awards? A. Counter condition. B. Negative punishment. C. Positive reinforcement. D. Positive punishment. Question 5 Answer. C. Positive reinforcement. Question 6. An athlete's this can increase the latitude of the optimal arousal that is the more of this the better they can perform during more stress or rehearsal. A. Skill level. B. Nine stages. C. Distress. D. Axious state. Question 6 Answer. A. Skill level. Question 7. Goals direct an athlete's attention by prioritizing efforts. Goals increase effort. Goals increase positive reinforcement. A. Positive reinforcement. B. Why goal setting affects performance. C. Optimal goal setting. D. Goal setting. Question 7 Answer. B. Why goal setting affects performance. Question 8. Tendency to be confused because of the intake of too many stimuli internally. A. Reduced attentional focus. B. Overloaded by internal stimuli. C. Narrow attentional focus. D. Overloaded by external stimuli. Question 8 Answer. B. Overloaded by internal stimuli. Question 9. During this stage the mind is relaxed and the skill is executed dotically without thinking. A. Q utilization. B. Automaticity stage. C. Cognitive state. D. Autogenic training. Question 9 answer. B. Automaticity stage. Question 10. Is an environmental or cognitive event that precipitates stress. A. Stress. B. Stressor. C. Ostress. D. Distress. Question 10 Answer. B. Stressor. Question 11. Increases the probability of operance by removing an act object or events that is typically averse. A. Positive reinforcement. B. Negative punishment. C. Negative reinforcement. D. Positive punishment. Question 11. Answer. C. Negative reinforcement. Question 12. Can alter the neural programming involved in initiating and controlling voluntary movement? A. Arousal. B. Ostris. C. Emotion. D. Association. Question 12. Answer. C. Emotion.
Question 13. Individuals with this personality are sensory reducers and require high level of stimulation. A. Extroverted. B. Introvert. C. Operant. D. Stressor. Question 13. Answer. A. Extroverted. Question 14. The attentional allocation or shift in allocation to process only the cues and cognitive activity that relate to the athletic performance. A. Mental psychological efficiency. B. Sport psychology. C. Psychological and physiological efficiency. D. Psychic energy. Question 14 Answer A. Mental psychological efficiency. Question 15. Knowledge of SUSIS or failure is more effective in the presence of specific quantifiable goals instead of standards of performance. A. Stress. B. Feedback. C. Arousal. D. Ostris. Question 15 Answer B. Feedback. Question 16. Is someone who engages in a social comparison involving psychomotor skill or physical prowess in an institutional setting, typically under public scrutiny or evaluation? A. Distress. B. Arousal. C. Athlete. D. Stress. Question 16 Answer. C. Athlete. Question 17. Increase the likelihood of SUSIS. A. Outcome goals. B. Short-term goals. C. Sport psychology. D. Self-efficacy. Question 17 Answer. B. Short-term goals. Question 18. Requires knowledge of exercise essences in both the biophysical and behavioral domains. A. Optimal goal setting. B. Preparatory routine. C. Systematic goal setting. D. Goal setting. Question 18 Answer. A. Optimal goal setting. Question 19. Can simultaneously increase the psychological development and performance of an athlete? A. Preparatory routine. B. Systematic goal setting. C. Systematic desensitization. D. Somatic anxiety. Question 19 Answer B. Systematic Goal Setting Question 20 Which relates to the athlete's wish to engage in competition or social comparison? A. Association B. Intrinsic Motivation C. Achievement Motivation D. Q Utilization Question 20 Answer C. Achievement Motivation Question 21. It's important to giving the athlete feedback in effective coaching. A. Automaticity stage. B. Short-term goals. C. Process goals. D. Specificity of goals. Question 21. Answer. D. Specificity of goals. Question 22. Reflects the principle that a relaxed body part will promote a relaxed mind. Increased range of motion from positive mood and reduced muscle tension leads to increase in smooth fluid or efficient movement. A. Counter condition. B. Intrinsic motivation. C. Reciprocal inhibition. D. Q utilization. Question 22 Answer. C. Reciprocal inhibition. Question 23. Are those goals over which achievement the athlete has control if the effort is abandoned success rate is high? A. Operant. B. Outcome goals. C. Arousal. D. Process goals. Question 23. Answer. D. Process goals. Question 24. Negative stress. A. Distress. B. Stressor. C. Hypnosis. D. Athlete. Question 24 Answer. A. Distress. Question 25. 
relates to such physical symptoms as butterflies. A. Somatic anxiety. B. Trait anxiety. C. State anxiety. D. Operationalize. Question 25 Answer A. Somatic anxiety. Question 26 In this state, arousal is uncontrolled. A. Arousal. B. Athlete. C. Anxious state. D. Non anxious state. Question 26 Answer C. Anxious state. Question 27 A personality variable or disposition relating to the probability hat one will perceive an environment as threatening, primer for the athlete to experience state anxiety. A. State anxiety. B. Trait anxiety. C. Athlete. D. Task complexity. Question 27 Answer B. Trait anxiety. Question 28. Ability to inhibit awareness of some stimuli in order to process others, and it suppresses task relevant cues in order to process the task relevant cues in the limited attentional space. A. Selective attention. B. State anxiety. C. Cue utilization. D. Association. Question 28 Answer A. Selective attention. Question 29. Typically associated with skilled performance when actions are fluid or graceful. A. Asterisk. B. Efficiency. C. Operant. D. Self-efficacy. Question 29. Answer. B. Efficiency. Question 30. Comprises psychic energy and physiological positive arousal. A. Asterisk. B. Stress. C. Nine stages. D. Distress. Question 30 Answer. A. Asterisk. Question 31. There is this relationships between arousal and performance. A. Inverted U theory. B. Stressor. C. State anxiety. D. Attention. Question 31 Answer A. Inverted U Theory Question 32 Is considered as any disruption from homeostasis or mental and physical calm? A. Distress B. Stressor C. Stress D. Athlete Question 32 Answer C. Stress Question 33. Shrinkage of attentional capacity occur that tack relevant cues are eliminated. A. Cognitive anxiety. B. Arousal. C. High levels of arousal. D. Skill level. Question 33. Answer. C. High levels of arousal. Question 34. In this state arousal is under control of the athlete. A. Non anxious state. B. Nine stages. C. Anxious state. D. Arousal. Question 34 Answer A. Non anxious state. Question 35 Ability to effectively manage many internal stimuli. A. Broad internal attentional focus. B. Selective attention. C. Broad external attentional focus. D. Internal or external? Question 35 Answer. A. Broad internal attentional focus. Question 36. Number of pois leading between brain and spinal cord, connections via the voluntary nervous outflow to the skeletal muscles, motor outflow in blood vessels that subserve the metabolic needs of the muscles and finally by the way of the endocrine system. A. Athlete. B. Operant. C. Arousal. D. 3. Question 36 Answer. D. 3. Question 37. Which helps to apply individual differences in competitiveness? A. Dissociation. B. Achievement motivation. C. Q 
Q. Utilization. D. Intrinsic Motivation. Question 37 Answer, B. Achievement Motivation. Question 38 Perceived self-confidence about a given task in a specific situation. A. Feedback. B. Self-efficacy. C. Goal setting. D. Trait anxiety. Question 38 Answer, B. Self-efficacy. Question 39 Could result in increased muscular activity. A. Increased psychological arousal. B. High levels of arousal. C. Intrinsic motivation. D. Inverted U theory. Question 39 Answer A. Increased psychological arousal. Question 40 Adaptive Learn Replacement Process of Fear with Relaxation Cues. A. Emotion. B. Operant. C. Counter Condition. D. Dissociation. Question 40 Answer C. Counter Condition. Question 41 Relates to psychological processes and worrisome thoughts. A. Cognitive state. B. Cognitive anxiety. C. Somatic anxiety. D. State anxiety. Question 41 Answer B. Cognitive anxiety. Question 42 Employing only the amount of psychic and physical energy required to perform the taste. A. Reciprocal inhibition. B. Systematic desensitization. C. Optimal goal setting. D. Psychological and physiological efficiency. Question 42 Answer D. Psychological and physiological efficiency. Question 43 Is simply the intensity dimension of behavior and physiology is psyched up? A. Emotion. B. Arousal. C. Athlete. D. Axia state. Question 43 Answer B. Arousal. Question 44 Distraction strategy. A. Q utilization. B. Attention. C. Association. D. Dissociation. Question 44 Answer. D. Dissociation. Question 45 Is a hybrid of cognitive and somatic techniques that allows an athlete to replace a fur response to various cues with a relaxation response. A. Systematic desensitization. B. Intrinsic motivation. C. Q. Utilization. D. Dissociation. Question 45 Answer A. Systematic desensitization. Question 46 Which means to concretely specify a behavior so that it can be measured? A. Operationalize. B. Trait anxiety. C. Attention. D. Emotion. Question 46 Answer A. Operationalize. Question 47 Target behavior. A. Emotion. B. Operant. C. Nine stages. D. Stress. Question 47 Answer B. Operant. Question 48 Is a negative experience? but its effects on athletic performance can be positive negative or indifferent depending on such factors as the athlete's skill level and personally and the complexity of the task to be performed. A. Attention. B. State anxiety. C. Somatic anxiety. D. Athlete. Question 48 Answer. B. State anxiety. Question 49. The ultimate goal of every adult. A. Ideal performance state. B. Cognitive state. C. Preparatory routine. D. Internal or external. Question 49 Answer. A. Ideal performance state. Question 50. During this arousal is to hide. A. Trait anxiety. 
B. Cognitive anxiety. C. State anxiety. D. Athlete. Question 50 Answer. C. State anxiety.